Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, I saw a video that Quest X was talking about Bill Maher. Um, I really wish people would stop thinking that just because a white woman sleeps with black men or has a black husband that they like black people as a whole. And the same thing with a white man who sleeps with black women or marries a black woman that they like black people as a whole because that is as inaccurate as can be. So now black people are shocked because Bill Maher has finally showed who he is, that he's no different from the so-called people he talks about. He's a liberal. I keep telling y'all liberals are nothing more than people that consider themselves respectable racists. You know, him, Skip Bayless, Vlad Rally. Like I say, these are dudes that love black culture and discussing issues with black culture. But then they love to try to play Ward Cleaver with us. Father knows best, or should I say uh, Cracker knows best. Oh, I know what's best for you, you black people. Oh, you guys shouldn't get reparations. This is a joke. They love to say something is a joke when it comes to us. They love to say what we shouldn't have, what we should have. Bill Maher been talking like reckless for years. But like I said, once again, it's y'all black people fault for going on this show. Talked about, you know, issues that was a little too, you know, revealing. And you got this dude feeling comfortable. He got too comfortable. He been doing this for years, just like he sat up there and going to say, you know, it's OK for Barack Obama to be a black man and to act black. But what the fuck did this hunky McGee know about being black? For real. What do this this snow creature know about being black? I get tired of people like him. You know, like I said, we the only ones when we ask for something, we got to get resistance. Not just from the, you, you know, the mayonnaise nation. Everybody else have a problem with black people getting something. But then they show love asking for stuff for them. But then when we say, well, help us get this and we'll help y'all get the Nah, nah, nah. That, that really ain't our concern. Well, guess what? What's going on with y'all ain't our concern. But like I said, this should be a learning curve for some of you black people. Stop always thinking these dudes like Bill Maher is our friend, our allies, because they not. He been saying little slick shit for years. Why do y'all think because a white man or a white woman sleep with a black man or a, a, a or a black woman that they like black people as a whole? Haven't we gotten past that now haven't that been debunked on several occasions that you could be with somebody that's not of the same race as you and still be a racist that's been proven time and time again but y'all still love to throw that up in the air that don't mean jack shit to me okay i was never fooled by that okay i'm just keeping it i'm just keeping it 100 you know, once again, the only person that stood up and checked Bill Maher was Ice Cube. You know, the people that a lot of black men and black women went against in behind Kamala Harris and Jim Crow Joe, who both have a, hi a, a history of racism and bigotry towards black people. But you had people attacking Ice Cube. <laughs> and then y'all wonder why some of these dudes don't want to do nothing for the black community. For real. I'm just going to keep it a buck. Now, everybody is mad at Nick Cannon saying he been buck broken and all this kind of stuff. But y'all was the same niggas. When he made that, made those songs and made videos exposing Eminem for being a white supremacist, y'all attacked Nick Cannon. You had people, you, you had, you, you know, coons like the lovely T defending Eminem. But she, she do that anyway. But she not a, you know, she not really from the States anyway. She really from her family roots really is uh, traced back to Nigeria. Go figure. 
But nevertheless, this ain't about them. I'm just using that as an example. But y'all wonder why some of these black black celebrities don't go go all out for blacks because at the end of the day, sometimes it's y'all. So the same way I call them out, I'm gonna call some of y'all out. Cause I seen it. I seen the comment sections. I seen the videos. Y'all was defending Eminem over Nick Cannon. But now that y'all think he, you know, got buck broken to the to the Jewish people, now all of a sudden y'all upset with Nick Cannon saying he sold out, but y'all was the same niggas and niggas that was defending Eminem and caper for Eminem. So stop it. So this is why I have to call some of y'all out on y'all hypocrisy. For real. Now all of a sudden everybody is sad. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know Bill Maher was like that. I did. I did. I said he was. Y'all thought just because he liked to sleep with black women, he liked black black men and black women as a whole. No, he just liked sleeping with them. That's all. You see how he feel about reparations? Saying it's a joke, and to say and for him to say it's a joke. Y'all need to think about this. He basically saying black people asking for, you know, payment due to the injustices and and the travesties and racial attacks and, you know what I'm saying, uh, sexual assaults on them, among other things, mental abuse, physical abuse. You, he's saying basically that's a joke. That's a joke. Us asking for something that's old to us is a joke. Y'all need to really think about that. Let that sink in. He said reparations is a joke. Do you know how how deep that runs? Do y'all do y'all black people know how he just disrespected us by saying us asking for reparations is a joke? Man, that's deep seated racism right there. But I already know some 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 nigga going to come defend Bill Maher like they always do, because, you know, black people love defending people that don't look like them. Like I say, a lot of black people always got smoke for other black people. But then they seem to put their they guns up when they hear about some some Asian or some white dude or some Hispanic causing physical and bodily harm to a black man or a black woman. Then y'all disappear. Then y'all hollering about we need to be cool. We all brothers and sisters. No, we not. Never have been, never will be. We don't have no allies, and I don't know how many times that I have to tell y'all that. I guess I'm going to have to keep making these videos. And I will. Until y'all finally understand we have no allies. Bill Maher is not black people's allies. He's just another white supremacist slash racist. I'm not worried about nobody coming on here saying, well, I don't think Bill Maher races. I ain't even arguing with you. As soon as you type that in the comment section and push that send button and it appears, I'm going to erase it and I'm going to block you automatically. I ain't even going to respond. This is one of these situations where it's non-debatable. Bill Maher is a fucking racist and that's just the bottom line. But like I said, this is what you black people get for sitting up here caping for him all these years. That's another reason why I fell out with Takashi's Boxing Nation, because he was caping for Bill Maher when he made that, that you know, that reference saying, what am I, a house nigga? Like, get out of here, man. So, for real, man. I, I You know, me, me and him, we started to like, you know, for real. I just started to look at him in a whole different way. Just another fake pro-black dude. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.